All right, welcome everybody a particular question. This time let's read the question. I keep uh, using the same uh, question and recycle it. Here's what the question says. In a heat exchanger, I have a water at 90 degrees C and it flows with a mean velocity of 10 millimeter, not millimeter, not meter, per second in a one centimeter diameter, one millimeter length of a cast iron pipe, okay? If the flow is laminar, this information is given to me, what is the pressure drop over the length of the pipe? So in reality, I don't have to give you that the flow is laminar, you can calculate it yourself, but I was uh, giving you a little bit of a shortcut over here, okay? Because as you know, I have another video on that, so the, if you do this, the Reynolds number will be VD by, by kinematic viscosity, and you see that you will get into the laminar range. I checked it before solving this, okay? First of all, I have a question to you. It says cast iron, does it really matter? Because in laminar, my head loss is 64 over Reynolds, so it doesn't matter. This is extra information to you, okay? Um, but one thing is when I'm looking at the reference manual on page 183, I come across a very useful formula. Actually, in my lecture videos, module 12, I derive this very formula, okay? Here's what it says pi d to the power of 4 delta pf divided by 128 viscosity L, okay? This is like the shortcut for that. If you don't want to do this, what you can do is you can write the extended Bernoulli's equation. There will be no minor losses, so that will be out. The velocity will be constant, that will be out. The elevation change will be negligible, that will be out. Do you see, you can obtain this formula yourself, but I already have given this, so I'm just gonna take a shortcut, okay? All right, so the only issue in here is I am given the volumetric flow rate, but the question itself is giving me the mean velocity, which is this, right? And this is also given in your uh, reference manual or my, or my lecture notes covered this as well. V mean is equal to Q over A. So let's first calculate that. V mean will be equal to Q, which is pi d to the power of four, this pressure difference that I'm being asked, 128, is cos d L divided by the area. And the area of square is pi d squared over four. Right? So let's see what cancels. So the pi is one down. So this square, this becomes a square. These four, four, one twenty-eight uh, comes thirty-two. Right? Thirty times four. Yep, one twenty-eight. So from here, you're going to see that I get my v mean as d square delta p f divided by let's see thirty-two viscosity times L. So if I reshuffle this, because the question, if you look at it, what is the pressure dropped? So it's asking you delta p. So let's rewrite this equation with delta pf, this, which is being asked to me, 32 v mean viscosity length of the pipe divided by the diameter square of the pipe. Okay. So then only thing left is to can insert these values in 32. Mean velocity was given to me as 10 millimeter per second, right? So it is 10 times 10 to the minus 3, it's millimeter. I'm converting the meter per second, right? Times the viscosity, okay? The question tells me that it's 90 degrees, so what I have to do is I have to follow this particular chart, and I find 90 degrees, you see over here, 0 0.000315, that is the dynamic viscosity. Remember, you're not writing kinematic, dynamic is here. So it's gonna be 3.15 times 10 to the minus four. 10 to the minus four length. Let's look at the length of it. I gave you one meter and the diameter is one centimeter. So this is one meter and the diameter is one centimeter. So 10 to the minus two, which is square of it. So if I take a look at it, let's see what I'm gonna get. So 10 to the minus fours kind of cancel in here. So that's fine. So let's see. So this becomes, uh, 10 to the minus 2, right? So 32 times 3.15. So actually, I don't need a calculator. 32 times 3.15 is approximately 100, right? Give or take. And then I'm multiplying or rather dividing by 100. So this will be 1 Pascal, right? Do you see it? Or you punch into the calculator if you don't want to take this risk. Um, but one thing is the unit is Pascal. It is not kilopascal. I did it on purpose. In the question, I gave one kilopascal as well. So the SI unit of pressure is Pascal, and that's how you get your answer. Thank you for watching this video.